Hey there, this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add some details to your keychain. Um, we're gonna work on trimming the corners. Okay, sometimes you make a boring keychain, or you know, it's not boring, but here's one that's completed technically. But again, they have these sharp corners on the edge. So what we're gonna do in this video, there's a couple options for that. We're gonna show you how to chamfer the edges. That's where we cut them off at a sharp angle. And how to fill at the edges. This is a little bit harder, but you get these nice curved uh, corners instead. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you, first of all, how to do the easy way, which is chamfering. It's very simple. So what you're going to do, first of all, is to grab a wedge. Go to geometric and drag out a wedge. Now, this wedge is what we're going to use. If you look here at this one when it's completed, you see those little holes that are wedges? We're going to make a series of those. So the first thing you have to do is use your digital caliper and kind of decide how big of a corner, how much of the corner do we want to take off of there? Okay. And once you have it like this, what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the shift button and scale it down to that size. So I want to cut mine off at six millimeters. So holding it down, hold down shift. And there it is, six millimeters. Now the slab on this thing is five millimeters tall. So that's fine. It's six millimeters. That'll be plenty enough to cut through it. Okay, so click your little wedge, change it to a hole, and then use your arrow keys or just drag it over. And you can yeah, probably zoom in for this, that would help. Right here, and that looks like it's pretty well aligned. I'm actually gonna make that taller so it's easier to grab in the future. Ooh, you know what, I wanted it six millimeters, so I'm gonna make that bigger. There we go, six by six. Now we're going we're gonna to take this. You don't need to redo that step again and again. What we're going to do now, so when you have this corner and you've made that, what you're going to do is click on the hole in the corner and go to edit and duplicate. You may be worried because you didn't see anything happen, but that's because it puts the duplicate right where the other one used to be. If you just use your arrow keys now, you'll move it out and you'll see that in fact you do have another copy. Slide that up so it's in the corner. Obviously, it's not oriented right, so we're going to take it and rotate it exactly 90 degrees. Now you can do the same thing again. Duplicate it. Move it. Rotate it. And just to be clear, you could have made this. You know, I chose 6 by 6, but some people would like less or more. You could make that any size or shape that you wanted. Essentially, we're just taking a shape and throwing it in the corner and using it to cut the corners off. And if you get finished with it, make sure you grab it all together at once and group it. And it'll take a second and you get this result here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. This one takes a little bit, it's a little bit more complicated, but only the first couple steps. And then after that, you just have to set up one corner. Let's take a look at these shapes. I'm cutting it out with this weird shape. It's like a cube with a cylinder subtracted from it. Okay, so let's show you how to make these. All right, first of all, you're gonna take this box and this cylinder. And what I'm gonna do is, is this, is, this is kind of careful. Click on the cylinder, then use your arrow keys to nudge it around until, you see that little dot right in the middle? until that dot is exactly at the corner of the box. See how those are lined up? No good, no good, no good, no good, no good. Perfect. We want it exactly lined up. Now what you're gonna do is change the cylinder into a hole. And we're gonna grab these two shapes together and make a group. Now we have our group. Now this is the thing that's actually gonna cut the corners off. So we wanna make this group into a hole itself. So click hole. Now you have to decide something. Now this is gonna take a little bit of math here, but it's really easy. It's just dividing or multiplying by two. So let's say that I wanted to cut off a corner of, okay, let's say the corner was gonna be six millimeters on the corner. Okay, right now it's 20 and that's twice our distance. So if I shrink this down to six times two is 12, so if I shrink this down to 12, that arc right there has a radius of six, and it's gonna cut off the corner at about six millimeters. Now you gotta drag it so that that part lines up with this edge. And this 
arc lines up with that edge. What you're going to do now is to grab it, edit, duplicate, move it. You're going to have to rotate this. You might want to rotate this one at 90 degrees before you move it. Okay, so I got that one lined up pretty well. I can duplicate it again. Oh, hey, look at it. Rotated it for me there. If it doesn't rotate, you might have to do that manually. Duplicate it again. It rotated. It's kind of figured out that I'm rotating it every time. So there we go. Now I'm going to grab these. I'm going to make a group. And with just a little bit of luck, now we have our edges filleted. This is called a chamfer and a fillet.